This is episode 8 of the Bruder series, meaning that our birds are now 8 days old. In this video series, we share with you our daily activities and practices as we brood 500 local chicks from day 1 to day 30. We highly believe that the experiences and demonstrations that we share in this series are the best for one to have a successful brooding. Like we have already discussed in all our episodes, there are four basic needs for brooding. Therefore, if one considers brooding chicks, you must have these four in place. One, you must make sure that you provide suitable feeds to the birds. Two, you must make sure that the birds have drinking water. That is another factor. And the third factor is you should have lighting in your brooder so that the birds can be able to see the feeds even at night. And then the last factor, which is the fourth one, is heating. Here we always have heating pots that keeps the brooder warm. In this video, we are going to demonstrate in details about how we provide the drinking water to our birds in the brooder. So every time we go to monitor our birds in the brooder, we always check in the drinkers to see if there is water for the birds to drink. And if water is done, we always collect the drinkers and clean them and then give the birds more water. It's not a simple task as someone may assume to have these drinkers clean and replace the water. So since day one, we have been giving our birds pure vitamins, but now after seven days, we are choosing to give them an oxyvitamin to deal with any infections among our birds. However, it is advised to give pure vitamins if your birds are still okay and have no infection. 
but for our birds, they developed some infection which was giving them hard time pass out droppings. And that is it all with giving them water for drinking. And now we choose to give them feeds because the feeders were empty. With water and feeds provided to our birds, we also try to monitor the other factors for blooding. One, as you can see, our lights are on. Then two, our blooding pots are also burning, therefore the brooder is still warm by doing so. These are the feeds that we are giving our birds and its broiler starter that we feel will enable our birds to grow faster. Thank you for watching and that is it for episode number 8. See you in the next episode which will be episode number 9. In the coming episodes also, we are also going to keep sharing our experiences, the practices and our daily activities that we highly believe will be important as you brood the old chicks until they are one month. If you don't wish to miss any part of this series, consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you are always updated whenever we upload a new video.